Continuing our reading in Poppy's Return by Avi. Today is Chapter 5, Poppy Talks to Junior. Junior did not get back until dark. As usual, he came in and headed right down to the root level without saying a word about where he had been or what he'd done. Poppy followed. Junior's corner was the way it always was, a mess. Poppy had given up trying to get him to clean. Junior wouldn't. Twigs and leaves lay scattered. His bedding, a pile of wood chips, was in total disarray. Junior himself was on his back, paws behind his head, staring glumly up. Seeing him there, Poppy felt suddenly shy. It was a strange sensation. She had done much in her life, had real adventures, even dangerous ones. How could she be so unsure of herself with her own child? But though Junior was her son, she felt as if she were approaching a complete stranger, someone, how painful to think it, who could hurt her feelings badly. Hi, she said, approaching him cautiously. Junior did not bother to look up at her. What's up? He said. Did you have a pleasant time with Mephitis? Yeah, sick. I'm glad, said Poppy. You don't like him. Junior, I've never said that. I just don't know him very well. Well, he's my freaking best friend. What are his parents like? <laughs> if you're so interested in them, go visit. Perhaps I should, but Junior, I didn't come down here to talk about your friend. Good. Did you have supper? Yes. To prove it, he belched. I wish you wouldn't do that. It's very unpleasant. Junior belched again. Poppy winced. Then she said, As you heard me say before, I need to go back with my sister to my old home. I hate her. Why? She doesn't like me. How do you know? Just do. I haven't said to the other children what I'm about to tell you, Junior. My father seems to be in really bad a bad in a well, uh, in a really bad way yeah rocks to be him junior muttered poppy's tail twitched as she waited for junior to say something more when he did not she took a deep breath and then said i suppose that between a child and a parent there is something special at least she added i feel that way so since he is my father it's important that i go back Okay, Mama, Junior said. Get to your point. Can't you show a little respect for my feelings? Sorry, what is it? Well, said Poppy, working hard to keep her anger down. As I said, I'll be going back, leaving tomorrow morning, but your Papa and I don't think I should take the whole family. Poppy hesitated then said, Junior, I thought I'd ask you to come along with me. Just you. I'd enjoy your company, and it would be good to have someone with me when I come back. Uh, traveling alone through Dimwood can be risky. What do you think? You mean you need me to take care of you? I can take care of myself, thank you, said Poppy, struggling to hold back hot tears. Junior was quiet for a moment. Then he said, uh, Can Mephitis come? Mephitis? cried Poppy, taken aback. Yeah, I'm a fightus. What's wrong with that? Why should he come? I told you, he's my best friend. But I thought it would be only the two of us. Hey, Mama, I'm not going unless he can come. Poppy stared at him. Not even for me? Nope. Fine, said Poppy, swallowing her disappointment. It's a deal. I look forward to getting to know your friend. Wiping away a tear as she went, Poppy joined the others. Aunt Lily was telling the rapt children stories about what Poppy was like when she was much younger. How sweet and easy she was. Rye drew Poppy aside. What did Junior say? I guess he said yes. Only guess? He'll come, but only if Mephitis can come with us. Mephitis? I said yes. But why? It just feels like the right thing to do. Rye sighed. Why did we name him Ragweed Jr.? Maybe we shouldn't have. Rye, 
You remember as soon as he was born, he acted different from the others, doing things his way, just like Ragweed. Maybe a little too different for his own good, said Rye. Later that night, Poppy told Lily that Junior would travel with them. She didn't have the heart to mention Mephitis. Forgive me, said Lily. Which one is Junior? Uh, the, the one who's dyed black? Oh, Poppy, why did he do that? He wants to look like his friend. Who is his friend? Mephitis, a skunk. A skunk? Lily, said Poppy. I like to respect my children's choices. Is Junior his whole name? It's Ragweed Junior. I remember about Ragweed is how obnoxious he was, always asking questions, never satisfied with anything. Lily, Junior is a good mouse. Lily sniffed. <laughs> Papa never liked Ragweed or porcupines. Let's not talk about that. Poppy, said Lily, you do know Papa has never gotten over your leaving Gray House. Poppy drew herself up. Well, I have. Lily was silent for a moment. Poppy, you should know that with Junior looking that way and, and with that name, Papa might get all stirred up. I can't help that. But Poppy, said Lily, you can. Your rye is very pleasant, and your children are very nice, if a bit excitable. Lily, said Poppy, is there anything about my family you like? Pisicua, do I have the right name, is very cute. Lily, everything will be fine, said Poppy, not sure she meant it. Feeling the need for some fresh air, she asked Rye to take a walk with her. As they strolled in the night air, she repeated her talk with Lily. Oh, Rye, she said, I know perfectly well I don't respect Junior's choices. Um, and I must admit, I'm already regretting this trip. It makes me very uneasy. Why? Because, Poppy said, Lily has reminded me of something. What's that? How, how badly I got along with my parents. That's the end of chapter 5.